How to set up Shopify Payment Gateway and Easy Tutorial. So hi guys, in today's video, I will be showing you how to add a payment method using Shopify and the application that we are going to use is to check out. So let's get started. First off, what you're going to do is to simply open your browser and sign into your Shopify account. Once you've signed into your Shopify account, go to the lower left hand corner and click on your settings option. So here in your settings, what you're going to do is to simply go to the payment section. So when you are routed to the payment section, uh, what you're going to do next is to choose a provider here under payment providers. Now, as you can see, you can actually choose from different kinds of um, payment providers. However, most of the providers right here are actually unavailable in my country. So I'm going to simply choose what's available on my end and what I have right here is to check out. Why will I use to check out? Basically, it has more options compared to the other one that we have right there. Now, to check out accepts Visa, MasterCard, American Express, JCB, Discover, and Diners Club. Let's get to know more about what to check out is. So basically, to check out enables you to accept mobile and online payments from buyers worldwide, no matter if you sell physical or digital goods and services one time or on a recurring basis. So their payment processing is seamless, safe, and reliable no matter where you are on the map. And that's about it about to check out. Now, let's see how we can start or set up our to check out. First is we are going to create a to checkout account. So here, all we need to do is to go to tocheckout.com and here are actually the different plans that you can sign up. So you can actually sign up for free, but you need to pay if you have a successful sale on your Shopify account. Now, in this section, what we're going to do is to sign up for free and then input your first name last name um, business email your password uh, the shopify domain that you have and there now let's create the account this time once you've created an account you just need to select what type of products you want to sell in to check out so if you want to have retail let's say for example i'm gonna have others instead of retail and simply create an account so once you have created the account you will be routed to this page right here all right now all you need to do is to log in to your to checkout account okay then input your username for the username you just need to input your email address basically and as well as for the password you just need to input the password that you have created from um a while ago all right after inputting your password simply click on the sign in button below all right so once we've signed into our to checkout account, we will be routed to our dashboard. So here you can actually start activating your to check account. So the next step that we are going to do is to log in and activate your to checkout. To activate, what you're going to do is to select on this start activation button. All right. So if you have not activated your to checkout, basically you would not be able to get payments from Shopify. Okay, now here, the first thing that you will need to input is about your business. So input your business type, the company registration date, and then afterwards, you could also add your country, city, your address, and your postal code basically. Now you just need to add your financial details as well. Under your financial details, it actually are information 
in order for them to assess your credibility as a business owner. So that's the, your tax registration, annual online um, business transactions, and the likes. Now, next is about your products. You just need to go over these portions and if you have like process online transaction before you have entered that type of business uh, product access and the likes all right so basically it's all about your business or the products that you're about to sell in shopify all right next is here in your account settings you just need to add your payment or payout method basically the currency and also your PayPal address if you would like to have PayPal for that one. Okay, now the next thing that you're going to do is go over the deck documentation section so here you just need to input your business documents like a valid proof of address PayPal account screenshot your other documents and the likes and lastly here in the summary section basically it will just show you on the summary that you have inputted the right details and before you submit those to check out and basically to check out will be assessing all the information that you have placed in there whether it's credible or not okay so let's save this for later as for now i have not activated my account just yet all right now let's go over the third process so the third um, instruction is to access the integrations section so here we are going to go to the integration section in your panel so go over our to checkout account and right here we are going to copy the merchant code and paste it under our account information here in Shopify now next is the secret key you also need to copy that and then after that we are going to paste it in the secret word section all right so after which you just need to click on save settings basically right and once you have um gone over everything you just need to test your two checkout setup by simulating successful and failed transaction you can enable the test mode right there by ticking on the box but if you don't want to enable test mode then you can actually untick the box and click on activate to checkout and simply follow the rest of the instructions right here and that's about it for today's video thank you so much for watching and i hope you find this video helpful